Hello, Robbie Wong here. We are playing some historic best of three. Thank goodness it's Friday. This is a Saltai ramp deck. The top end is Crisis, Nissa. Trying to just get some value out of the good green, blue, black spells. We also completed the standard post rotation. We played it a uh, we played a mono black build. Spiteful Eidolon and Enchantments. It was fun. We got we got a rare and gems. What was the, our first rare was the uh, white creature. Oh, I'm blanking on the name. But if if creatures have a plus one plus one counter on it and they die, then they you you get a knight back. So it's kind of sweeper insurance. Alright, so let's go breeding pool. Okay. I'm not sure what the opponent is up to. We've got Yorian, we've got walls. Uh, let's just take your other Yorian. <laughs> Yorian's everywhere. All right, so they're get their over the top plan is Yorian. Our over the top plan, Nissa and friends. Okay, we have to draw a Nissa though. What is this? This is a two and this is a three. Okay. So ex extinction event is gonna have some text here. I've got another wall of blossoms. Okay. Thragtust pulls Extinction Event way to the odds. <laughs> so... If we're doing that, we could go 5 mana. Use 2 to be at 3, and then this is untapped. Okay. Let's go get a forest. We have, we have all our colors, so now we prioritize Forest for Nyssa. Boom. Alright, so this, and then we'll get to play... And then let's just save some life here. Odds. Now there's a 3-3 three, three instead of a 5-3 and a 1-1. One, one. Well, our, our sweepers are going to play. We have one ritual asset. If we draw one of the other extinction events that we can call. Okay, so if we do this. Yeah, alright. So do this. Do this. Draw a card. Play an Uro. One, two, three, four. This is tapped. Oh, you know what? We could have taken five damage to uh, <laughs> remove something. Now, we do have one Tamiyo. So it does matter what we pull, but... Okay. No damage. All right, so we can swing in... Well, no, we can't. They can do this. Oh, goodbye, Uro. Alright, really want a ritual asset. Let's clean this all out, make Yorian. Hmm. Just the land. All right, gonna take five down to nine. Oh, here comes the value train. All right, this Elspeth's Conquer Death is probably gonna get bounced. Let's go ahead and gain three. Yep, drawing what? Four cards. Pretty sweet. Pretty 
pretty sweet. These balls are good against aggro, or help you bridge into the late game for aggro. And that's going to do it for us. Good game. Well, Cry doesn't really tag much of their stuff. They're not searching. And they're not using... Let's, so let's go up a Pulse. Let's go up an Ulamog. They're not necessarily aggressive. It's very creature-based. Heartless Axe instead of Grazers. And uh, Rejuvenator. All right, let's do it. <laughs> All the six card hands, six spell hands look good. Mulligan. I'd uh, like the seven back, and this plays. So, let's throw this back. Let's throw this back. Play a game. Okay. Makes me regret the rejuvenator, but. Okie dokie. Let's take Elspeth and hope that Nyssa is enough. That's a good draw. Let's start there, actually. Triome? Nope. Visionary. That's good. All right, so let's start here. Hopefully tag a land. Do not. All right, Thought Seize. They've got four. Let's pull the Thrag Tusk. Thrag Tusk. Although, if we don't pull Remorse, they're going to get us with... <laughs> they're going to pull the Nyssa out of our hand. I think I... Well, no, if they play... Huh, okay. Nice. At least now we get to tag the Thrag Tusk. Yikes. Alright, hoping for a land. If not, this is going to be a pretty quick game here. That's enough. <laughs> Good game. Alright, well I'm Robbie Wong. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we will catch you on the next one.